to get started with client script i have created a client script file using visual studio code and currently this client script file has all the entry points and if i just scroll down to the written statement i have commented out all the entry points to make sure only page init gets triggered and now let's go back to our page init entry point so if you clearly notice in our page init entry point function i just have two lines of code one line is console.log which gets executed on your browser side i mean in the browser console and the other one is alert which will be showing up as a pop-up with this message which we have written here so as i said before in what is client script video this page it will get executed when the page or the record is getting loaded in our browser right now if you clearly notice in this page in it entry point it accepts one parameter called a script context this script context is an object which has two properties called as current record and mode so let's say you have deployed this on a sales order record which will have an access to this particular record which refers to this current record and the mode where you can execute this client script page init function is uh, create, copy, and edit. You cannot execute this client script page init in a view mode. Now let's upload this particular file in our NetSuite account. I'm going to click Alt Shift U. So the file would be uploaded in my NetSuite account. And my file has been uploaded successfully. Using the same client script file, I have created a script record. If you are not sure how to create the script record for the client script and deploy it as well, you can check out my previous video which is what is client script. There I have created my script record and uploaded the file also I have deployed the script file so to proceed further I can show you the deployments so the currently the script has been deployed on sales order record and I have provided some default ID now let's test this client script in order to test this let me open my browser console so to open my browser console I'm gonna click function f12 the reason why I open this browser console is I have added a log called as console.log which is gonna display on my browser console once I open my browser developer tools or browser console I can just see this console has been highlighted so to test my sales order I'm gonna to navigate to transaction sales and click on enter sales order now the sales order page is being initialized on this browser and our client script should have triggered now I can see on the right hand side clearly it says page it has been triggered and on top I can see my pop-up also which says uh, as per the message which we have provided in the visual studio code now let's try to modify our code in our code we're gonna try to use the page init entry point to default the customer on the sales order record and also my page in it should get triggered only when i create the sales order so now there is one option in the script deployment where we can see the event type and i can set the event type as create so that my client script will execute only on this particular event type called as create but this will apply to my whole client script i don't want to do that now so i just want to make sure this logic applies only on the page init entry point so in order to do that i'm going to go back to my code now let's remove our alert we don't want this alert to be displayed anymore and let's keep the console.log as of now so we can see the page it has this parameter called a script context and it has an access to mode so i'm going to copy this code and i'm going to add an if condition and i'm going to paste script context.mode here and i'm going to compare the value with create if the script context.mode is create then it has to trigger my page init logics and also we're gonna default the sales order customer value so we're gonna make use of script context dot current record to do that so this current record is nothing but your current form record now let's go back to our netsuit account and i'm gonna click on help center and search for current record i can see there is a n slash current record module so this current record module is nothing but this particular current record so using this current record i'm going to set the value for the customer field in the sales order record so i'm going to declare a variable called something like this and then i'm going to paste this current script context dot current record now using this current record object member we're gonna call an api called a set value how did i come up with this value let's go back to our current record module if i just scroll down we can click on the current record object members so this has a lot of APIs on the current record object members. Now we're going to make use of set value since we're going to set the value on the customer field. So here we have the API. Now let's open the set value. And if I just scroll down, it says clearly supported script types is client script. Governance is none. Let's scroll down. It accepts field ID and the value. And it also has other parameters like ignore field change, forcing, sourcing. We'll not go in deep about that as of now. Let's go back and we can make use of this API. We're gonna use the field ID and the value. So let's go back to our Visual Studio code. I'm gonna pass 
I go back to my sales order and this is going to be my entity. I'm going to copy the field ID, go back and add the value here and the value. So I'm not sure what should be the value here, right? So in order to set the value, I'm going to hard code the value as of now. To hard code this value, I'm going to go back to my netshoot. To open that, I'm going to navigate to the list, relationships and then customers. So in the list of customers, I can see few customers here. So I'm going to make use of this particular customer called as sweet script hey, whose internal ID is 1777. Now in our value property, we're going to place the value as 1777. So that's the code. We are done with this particular code. Now let's upload this code back to Netshoot. So I'm going to click Alt Shift U. I'm going to click continue. And in the bottom we can see upload file has been triggered. And now our file has been successfully uploaded to our Netshoot account. Now let's go ahead and test our script. So in order to test my client script, page init function, I'm going to navigate to transaction sales and enter sales order. So I'm going to create a new sales order. Now our page init should have been triggered. Now let's open my console by clicking function F12 again. And I can clearly see in my console, I can see that the page it has been triggered and even the customer has been defaulted to, to my customer, which I mentioned before. So now that we have successfully completed our page init execution, now let's verify whether our script gets triggered or not in edit mode. So in order to test that, I'm going to go back to Netshoot account. So right now I'm in my Netshoot account. Let's open the existing sales orders by clicking on the list. Now let's open one of the sales orders here. So I'm going to click edit on this existing sales order. So our client script should not get triggered on edit mode. So we can check our console also. Now the page has been successfully loaded and I can clearly see the console page need not be triggered. So which confirms that our if condition works as expected.